And so this is part two of cleaning up the quadratic formula. We're looking at cleaning up common denominators. If you had 3 6, you wouldn't leave it that way. You'd turn it into a half. You'd be doing the right thing. And so why would you leave an expression like this? You'll notice that 3 divides into each of these terms. And so let's reduce this quadratic formula result so that it's fully simplified. And so I notice there's a 3 in both factors in the top, in both terms in the top. And so we're going to work on factoring out a 3 from both of those terms. And 3 divided by 3 is 1, so. And 1 remains. And 9 divided by 3 is 3, and so. I can factor 3 out of that term as well. There we go. I've factored a 3 out of both terms in the top now. And so now that I have a 3 factored out of both the top and the bottom, we can cancel them out and go straight to our simplified version of our quadratic formula result, which looks something like that. So this is the form of the answer that you will get. It may simplify further. You may just have a fraction like 1 half, or you might even just have a number like 3 or 2.